What's up guys, welcome to Products Room. Choosing the best air fryer toaster oven can be confusing, especially with so many options available in the market. Luckily, to help you find the right one for your needs, we've done the homework for you, and we have compiled a list of some of the best air fryer toaster ovens you can buy right now, so be sure to stay till the end, so you don't miss anything. Before we start our list, I have a question for you. Have you ever used an air fryer toaster oven before, or are you using it right now? If so, let us know in the comments which air fryer toaster oven you have, and what is your opinion on it. Now, let's get started. The first air fryer toaster oven on our list is KitchenAid Digital Countertop Oven with Air Fry. With a relatively small footprint for its large capacity, this KitchenAid Digital Countertop Oven is convenient for most kitchens and is considered the best toaster oven air fryer on our list. It boasts 9 cooking settings, dehydrate, bagel, toast, air fry, bake, broil, reheat, keep warm, and proof. Six slices of bread fit with ease for our toast test, and we were impressed that every slice was uniformly golden brown on both sides. We used the air fry function to make chicken wings, which turned out nicely with just the right skin crispiness. And our cookies, lightly browned on the edges and soft and chewy in the centers. With a 0.74 cubic foot capacity, this small air fryer toaster oven can accommodate a 9 by 13 inches baking pan but just barely, and we felt it was better to use smaller pans to enable better airflow during cooking. We also prepared pizza, fries, onion rings, and muffins, and we proofed bread dough. The KitchenAid excelled in all our tests, although its cooking temperature was about 3 to 4 degrees Fahrenheit lower than our oven thermometer. That is still within the range of being fairly accurate and shouldn't cause any cooking problems. This countertop oven is well insulated, and its exterior didn't become hot during the cooking process. Its window, however, did get uncomfortably hot to the touch after about 15 minutes of cooking. This high-achieving little oven is well-suited for preparing meals and snacks, reheating food, and making perfectly golden toast. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Cuisinart TOA 60 Air Fryer Toaster Oven. The Cuisinart Air Fryer Toaster Oven features seven settings, air fry, convection bake, convection broil, bake, broil, warm, and toast. It's large enough to cook a 12 inches pizza, which we prepared using the bake function and then switched to air fry for the last few minutes to create hot bubbly cheese. The Cuisinart has dials rather than a digital display. We didn't mind the old school style at all. Not only could we choose from the oven's preset functions, but we also liked that we could select our own temperature. While some ovens with preset temperatures automatically adjust depending on the function chosen, this Cuisinart is a top choice for advanced cooks who like to tweak temps. Its interior light was bright, and we could see the food as it cooked. One of our favorite features on this Cuisinart air fryer toaster oven is its crumb tray, which is accessible from outside the unit. It slid out, so we could dump crumbs after making toast while the oven was preheating for air frying chicken wings. Very handy. The exterior of this oven gets warm during use but not uncomfortably so. The Cuisinart oven cooked all our test foods well, but we did have one complaint. The temperature inside the oven was about 15 degrees Fahrenheit higher than our oven thermometer. We had to adjust the oven's temp down 15 degrees Fahrenheit when cooking. This may not be a fault that carries over to all Cuisinart models. Still, we suggest using an inexpensive oven thermometer to test the accuracy of all toaster ovens and standard ovens, and then adjusting the temperature selections to suit. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Instant Omni Air Fryer Toaster Oven. There's no need to spend a fortune to enjoy the benefits of an air fryer toaster oven. Omni by Instant Pot has ditched all but one knob and gone for a user-friendly digital screen and touch buttons for conveniently setting temperature, time, and functions. While this is the most affordable model in our lineup, it was also the one with the highest degree of accuracy regarding oven temperature. It was spot on. We baked, toasted, air fried, and reheated food. The Omni met all our baked and air fried expectations. Chicken wings were tender with crispy skin, the cookies were golden on the edges and soft in the middle, and the fries were terrific. Our only issue with the Omni was its toasting function, when the tops of our slices were golden brown, the bottoms were already starting to burn. This appliance has an interior light and six functions, air fry, roast, bake, reheat, warm, and toast. The digital display toggles between the cooking time and the interior temperature. However, its exterior heated up quite a bit, and its window got uncomfortably hot. It's probably not a good option for using in a spot where little fingers can reach it. This model comes at a great price point for users who want to make quick meals and snacks. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Breville Joule Smart Oven Air Fryer Pro. Upon opening this Breville's box, a sign directed us to get started by downloading the app. We did, and it synced easily with the Joule oven. 
while cooks will need a Wi-Fi network to use this oven's smart features. All 13 cooking functions can be accessed from the control panel. We preheated this Breville toaster oven with the oven thermometer inside to check temperature accuracy. The jewel preheated quickly and was within 1 to 2 degrees Fahrenheit of our thermometer, so we rated it highly accurate in terms of temperature. We toasted 9 slices of bread, and each piece came out uniformly browned on both sides. Our fries were crispy and golden on the outside and deliciously soft on the inside. The air fryer function cooked our chicken wings to perfection, and our cookies came out golden around the edges with chewy centers using the bake function. In testing, we found the Jewel app's autopilot function helpful when preparing a pizza. The app provided the pizza recipe, so we mixed the dough, placed it in a bowl to rise, and then selected autopilot. It was necessary, however, to press the oven start button manually to proceed. This is a safety feature that keeps users from turning it on before visually inspecting it to ensure nothing is in the oven that shouldn't be, such as a child's toy. Autopilot adjusted the temperature to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which is optimal for proofing yeast dough. In 60 minutes, the app prompted us to roll out the dough and add our toppings. The oven then automatically sets the correct time and temperature for cooking the pizza. The app gave us step-by-step -step instructions throughout the whole process, told us how to check if the pizza was done, and even suggested sprinkling it with Parmesan cheese after taking it out. This high-end Breville toaster oven air fryer performs well. For novice cooks and those new to air frying, the 200-plus step-by-step recipes on the app should prove helpful. Autopilot will adjust the oven's functions when following a recipe, making temperature and convection changes when necessary. Since all the models we tested come with air fry, all of them are capable of convection cooking. But the Jewel is the only one that turns this feature on and off via Autopilot to suit the specific food being cooked. The oven's exterior barely got warm during the cooking process, so not a safety issue. Indeed, the only downside to the Breville Jewel is its price tag. It is more than double the cost of some of the other models we tested. Still, its features and accuracy are tough to beat. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Kasori Original Air Fryer Toaster Oven. Of all the ovens we tested, the Kasori came with the best cookbook. It lists dozens of mouthwatering recipes and includes full-color photos of each one. This air fryer toaster oven boasts an impressive list of functions, including roast, toast, bagel, bake, pizza, cookies, dehydrate, ferment, keep warm, rotisserie, and air fry. Each function is preset to provide the best cooking environment. We were surprised by the ferment option until we figured out that the manufacturer uses this term instead of proof. This mode provides a slightly warm temperature to encourage yeast dough to rise, but it does not actually ferment foods, like yogurt. The kasori does include a rotisserie, however, so we decided to roast a chicken. It came out with delicious crispy skin and tender, juicy meat, but be aware this isn't a mobile rotisserie, it doesn't rotate. Kasori added this nice feature because large food items, such as a whole chicken, cook more evenly in the center of the oven. The oven's cooking temperature ran about 3 degrees Fahrenheit less than our oven thermometer, still reasonably accurate. Novice cooks will appreciate the kasori's ease of use, simply select one of the 12 preset functions and let the oven do the rest. With all the options on the kasori, it can easily be used in place of a standard oven. All the foods we cooked in the oven came out well, and we thought the toast function was the best of all the models. On the downside, the outside of the oven got pretty hot, and the window became uncomfortable to touch. So keep it high and out of the reach of little fingers. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Ninja Foodi 10 and 1 Smart XL Air Fry Oven. Those wanting more space in an air fryer toaster oven should check out Ninja's Smart XL. We air fried chicken wings on the included roasting tray on a lower rack and then added a basket full of onion rings during the last 10 minutes of cook time. Both came out perfectly crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Its 10 functions include air fry, air roast, toast, bagel, bake, whole roast, broil, dehydrate, reheat, and pizza. Other features include an integrated meat thermometer that we use to ensure a small roast reached the appropriate interior temp. We could choose from rare to well done, we opted for medium, then selected the whole roast function and felt it came out just right. The control panel is easy to use, and the oven has a bright interior light. The Smart XL Air Fryer Toaster Oven also has ample accessories, a roast tray, two wire racks, one air fry basket, and two sheet pans. Ninja claims the Smart XL will cook up to 30% faster than similar convection toaster ovens, and while it does preheat quickly, we believe it cooks at about the same speed as all other air fryer toaster ovens. This is not a microwave oven, and certain foods require specific times and temperatures to cook correctly. Using a higher temperature doesn't change that. In fact, its interior cooking temp ran a little low, consistently about 8 to 9 degrees Fahrenheit on the cool side, according to our oven thermometer. That said, all our test foods came out well, and the added accessories make cooking with this Ninja Toaster oven a fun and versatile experience. The next air fryer toaster oven on our list is Bella Pro Series 33 quart air fryer and toaster oven. 
The double doors on this Bella Air Fryer Toaster Oven have a shorter width, which makes it a good choice for small spaces where a single wider door might get in the way when adding or removing food. We thought they were pretty cute too, and fortunately, this model cooks as well as it looks and is straightforward to use. The Bella offers 12 different cooking functions, toast, bagel, pizza, cookies, air fry, bake, roast, broil, reheat, slow cook, dehydrate, and proof. Functions are easy to select by turning the dial. In addition to preset functions, we appreciated being able to select the cooking temp and time manually and turn the convection fan on or off as desired. The Bella boasts several accessories, including a rotisserie spike and a natural pizza stone. The pizza stone must be placed in a cold oven as the oven preheats. Once the oven and stone have preheated, the pizza can be placed on the stone. Putting a cold stone in a hot oven is a sure way to crack it. We made a delicious pizza with brown edges and a bubbly cheese center. The Bella Toaster Oven Air Fryer made particularly delicious fries too. They developed a beautiful crispy golden exterior and were soft and piping hot inside. All our other test foods came out well, except for toast. While the oven holds six slices of bread, the front edge of the first row of slices didn't brown as well as the rest of the slices. When we toasted just three slices in the center of the oven, they did brown evenly. While the exterior of the Bella and its windows didn't get overly warm, we noticed a tiny gap of about 1 16th of inches between the French doors when they were closed. We could feel heat loss by putting our hands next to the gap. Fortunately, the heat loss didn't seem to affect the interior temperature, which ran only about 3 degrees Fahrenheit low, according to our oven thermometer. Alright guys, that's all for now, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video, and this video helped you out. Don't forget to leave a like, and subscribe to the channel to see more videos like this in the future. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, see you later.